Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to make a very very popular paneer recipe and that is matar paneer. So let's start. I have heated here about 5 to 6 tablespoons of vegetable oil. To this I'm adding some whole garam masalas. So I have added one bay leaf, one black cardamom, couple of sticks of cinnamon and two green cardamoms. Fry the spices till you get the nice fragrance. Whole garam masala is done. To this I am adding some chopped tomato. And along with the chopped tomato I am adding some ginger. This is about a teaspoon of ginger paste. A teaspoon of crushed green chilies. And cook it till the raw aroma of ginger is gone. and the tomatoes become nice and tender tomato is nice and tender and the ginger and green chili are done now to this i'm adding about 4 tablespoon of almond paste and now along with the almond paste i'm going to add the dry spices in which i have some coriander powder about half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and 1 teaspoon of coriander powder and some red chili powder i had already added the green chili so i'm adding about a quarter teaspoon of red chili powder this is absolutely to your taste mix it well now to this i'm adding water i have added about 1 cup of water because the spices and the almond paste needs to be cooked properly And now I'm going to cook this masala till the oil starts to separate and this masala becomes very thick. Masala has thickened and it's oozing out oil. So this is ready now. It's well cooked. To this I'm adding some salt. To season it well. And along with the salt I'm adding some frozen green peas If you have fresh green peas you can add but I have frozen ones so I have added frozen green peas And along with this I'm adding some water Mix it well and bring this gravy to a boil Since I have taken here frozen green peas, so it's done now. To this, I'm adding the paneer pieces. And once you add the paneer, just cook it for one minute, and that's it. Not more than a minute, because once you overcook the paneer pieces, it's going to get tough. And moreover, it may break. So avoid, you know, cooking it for more than one minute. You can see the gravy has thickened a lot. Finally to this I'm adding some garam masala about a teaspoon of garam masala and that's it this is ready to serve This matar paneer recipe is really really creamy and very delicious and it goes really well with any kind of indian bread be it roti paratha or naan so definitely try it at home and don't forget to let me know about it we will meet next time and don't forget to hit the subscribe button till then bye bye